Today's lesson is called making an appointment and meeting a new client. Day one. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff. And my name is Kelsey. Welcome everyone to this month's Plus Talk dialogue. Today we are going to be making. An appointment. I believe on day two of this dialogue, we'll be meeting a new client. But today, we're talking about appointments and making appointments too. Now, we're going to define this word appointment, but not until after a break. So hold your horses there. Wait a second. Like I said before, we will be defining this word, just not right this moment. You'll have to wait a while. Anyways, this Act One of this month's Plus Talk dialogue is called "Making an Appointment," and we've got a character to talk about here. Jack. Apparently, it's Jack who's going to be making an appointment, or he's going to be trying to make an appointment. Yes, it looks like Jack is trying to sell something in our conversation, and in order to meet his new client, he has to make an appointment. So maybe his new client isn't available all the time. It's not that easy to reach him. So in order to be able to meet up with him and discuss something. He needs to first make an appointment with him, so he is in that person's schedule. They have a set time to meet, and maybe they'll talk about some business.、Hmm, sounds good to me. And now it also sounds like Jack is going to be talking on the phone while trying to make this appointment. Now this isn't clear in the dialogue itself. Okay, it hasn't been put in writing anywhere, but based on the language that is being used in this dialogue, guys. We're going to be talking on the phone, or like I said before, Jack is going to be talking on the phone. He's going to be talking on the phone to a doctor, one Doctor Sloan. So there you have it. We've got Jack. He's on the phone, and he is going to be making an appointment. And yes, he's going to start to try to make this appointment right after a break. So don't go away, you guys. We'll be right back. Making an appointment and meeting a new client. Act One. Making an appointment, Jack begins reaching out to hospitals around London in order to sell his company's device to them. Hello, I'm looking for Dr. Derek Sloan of Emergency Care Services. Speaking. Hi, Dr. Sloan. My name is Jack Taylor, and I'm calling from Matthews Medical Systems. I'm hoping to interest you in our highly effective and patient-friendly brain scanning device. We already have a brain scanning machine here that works great. I don't think we need anything else. 大家好，今天第一个单词我们看到的是 appointment 这个字当做名词，代表预约、约定的意思。例如 ，Ryan has an appointment with a dentist this Friday at 9 a.m. Ryan 这礼拜五早上九点有预约牙医看诊。接下来我们看到的单词是 device 这个字当做名词，它有仪器、装置或是设备的意思。所以我们可以说。This device can tell you how deep you are when you go diving. 这个仪器可以让你知道你潜水潜了多深。再来，我们看到的单词是 scan。这个字当做动词，代表仪器、雷达等扫描的意思。例如 ，Tony scanned the photo into his computer. Tony 把照片扫描存进电脑里。All right, welcome back, everybody, and. Let's take a look at the title before we get into our conversation. So our title is "Making an Appointment and Meeting a New Client," and we have a vocab word here: appointment. So an appointment is an agreement to meet someone at a certain place and time. And there are a lot of different situations where you might make an appointment. Maybe you need to go to the doctor's. You would need to have an appointment to go there first, or the dentist, or in this case. Meeting a client, you would need an appointment with them. There you go. Now, sometimes you want to go to a restaurant, and you want to make sure that you've got a table there. So you call ahead and say, "Yeah, please hold a table for me on this day for this many people at this time." Now, that's kind of like an appointment, but if you go to a restaurant, you don't make an appointment. You make 
a reservation. So yes, as far as restaurants are concerned, I should say you make reservations and not appointments. But like Kelsey said before, if you're going to go see the doctor or the dentist or something like that, chances are you're going to be making an appointment. And if you do make an appointment with someone, you just agree to meet that person at a certain place and time. Like Kelsey said before, that's all there is to it. Now, another note, you do make an appointment with someone. You don't do an appointment or anything like that. So you'll have to remember that. Anyways, let's get started with this month's Plus Talk Dialogue. Like I said before, Act 1 is called Making an Appointment. And right before the dialogue begins, before people start talking, we learn about Jack, okay? Let's go ahead and set the scene here for Jack and for our dialogue. It begins by saying Jack begins reaching out to hospitals around London in order to sell his company's device to them. So apparently Jack is in London or contacting people in London. Kelsey, does that mean that we're going to have to put on a British accent while doing this dialogue? Uh, if you'd like to, go ahead. Well, I can't do one, so I'm going to pass on that. How about you? Do you think you're going to go ahead and do a British accent? I don't think I'm skilled enough for that. I'll just stick with my normal Canadian American accent. Well, that's too bad, but maybe I'll give it a try at some point. We'll see what happens. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. But before we start with our dialogue, okay, we've got two things to talk about. The first of these is the phrase to reach out to. Okay, it says here that Jack begins to reach out to hospitals around London. And that means that Jack is trying to make contact with these hospitals, these hospitals there in London. Yes, he's trying to make contact with these hospitals and people there because he wants to sell them something. He wants to sell these people something. He wants to sell these hospitals something. Anyways, to reach out to someone is to try to establish communication with them. That's right. And we also have this word device in this sentence. And a device is a specialized tool or a thing that has been designed or refined to serve a specific purpose. So you could have electronic devices like radios or computers or maybe mobile devices like your cell phone or tablets. Anything like that is a kind of device. Okay, let's get started now. Apparently, Jack's on the phone, and he gets patched through where someone picks up the phone on the other end there, and Jack says, Hello, I'm looking for Dr. Derek Sloan of Emergency Care Services. And apparently, he has reached Dr. Sloan because Dr. Sloan says, Speaking, that is, yeah, that's who you are talking to. You're actually talking to Dr. Derek Sloan. Anyways, we've got Dr. Derek Sloan, and apparently, he works... In emergency care, he might work in the ER, who knows, but one way or another we know that Dr. Derek Sloan is an ER doc or something like that because it says that Jack is looking for Dr. Derek Sloan of emergency care services. And emergency care service is medical care for those who need care urgently. So, of course, you know, an emergency is a serious or an unexpected, dangerous situation and it needs to be dealt with quickly. But in this case, when we say emergency care services, we're talking about when you have an emergency medical event. So you need to get medical care very quickly. Maybe your life is in danger. That's when you would go to emergency care services. Yeah, sometimes you are acutely ill and you need to see a doctor right away. In that case, you go to the ER. You might even call an ambulance to take you to the ER. So it's interesting here. Act one of our Plus Talk dialogue is called Making an Appointment. If you were ever really super sick and you ever had to go to the ER, that's the one place in the hospital where you could go and see a doctor without making an appointment. Otherwise, you'd have to call ahead and say, I want to see this and this doctor at this and this time. And maybe the nurse would say, well, you can't do that. You might have to take this time. That's not the case with emergency care services at all. If you go to the ER, a doctor will see you right away. That being said, make sure that you actually have an emergency on your hands if you go to the ER. If you've got a cold or if you stubbed your toe, you probably don't need to waste an ER doctor's time. After all, they are tending to people who are acutely 
ill, who are super sick, people who might have had a heart attack, people who might have been in car wrecks and things like that. So I think we've covered this quite a bit. Yes, we're making an appointment in today's dialogue, but you don't need to make an appointment if you go to emergency care services. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Yes, Dr. Sloan says, yes, you're speaking to Dr. Sloan. I'm Dr. Sloan. That's who you're talking to. And then Jack says, hi, Dr. Sloan. My name is Jack. Jack Taylor. And I'm calling from Matthews Medical Systems. I'm hoping to interest you in our highly effective and patient-friendly brain scanning device. Ooh, sounds pretty cool. A brain scanning device that sounds like a CT scan or an MRI or a PET scan or something like that. It sure sounds high tech to me. Anyway, speaking of high tech, let's go ahead and talk about this verb scan right now. To scan something is to cause a surface, an object, or a part of the body even, like your brain to be digitally copied by a printer or a scanner or a robot scanner or a special medical device of some kind. So yes, Jack here is trying to sell Dr. Sloan something super fancy and high tech. Okay, but Dr. Sloan doesn't seem as convinced. He doesn't seem interested in this because he says, we already have a brain scanning machine here that works great. I don't think we need anything else. Ooh, so he shuts Jack down. Sorry, Jack. We don't need your brain scanning device. We already have one. Hmm, poor, poor Jack. But Jack, even though he's down, he's not out. Jack's a fighter. And coming up next, right after the break here, Jack is going to interject, and hopefully he'll be able to go on the offensive once again. Anyways, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. If I may interject... Our device has many useful features that standard scanning machines do not. If we set up a face-to-face -face meeting, I can show you how it works and why it's at the forefront of medical care today. I may have some time next Tuesday afternoon. As long as you keep it short, I suppose we can meet. Great! We can cover everything in 20 minutes, so I won't take up too much of your time. When is best for you? Come by around 3.30. Just give your name to the main reception desk and someone will bring you to my office. All right, I'll see you then, Dr. Sloan. 第二部分我们看到的单字是reception. 这个字当作名词,它有接待处,服务台的意思。例如,当你离开旅馆时,请把你的房间钥匙留在接待柜台。英文可以这么说, When you leave the hotel, please leave your room key at the reception desk. Okay, welcome back, everybody. And it's time for the second part of our dialogue. So we had been talking about how Jack was making an appointment to see Dr. Sloan. However, Dr. Sloan doesn't seem very interested in the device, the brain scanning machine that he wants to sell him. And now Jack is going to maybe try and convince Dr. Sloan that this device is worth his time. Yes, Jack is going to interject right now. Yeah, Jack says, if I may interject, Dr. Sloan, our device has many useful features that standard scanning machines do not. So remember, Dr. Sloan kind of cut Jack off before and said, we don't need a new brain scanning machine. We already have one. And now Jack is going to interject. He's going to say, hey, you do have a brain scanning machine, but ours is much better. Our brain scanning machine here at Matthews Medical Systems has all sorts of useful features that your brain scanning machine does not have there, Dr. Sloan. Anyways, I've used this word interject a few times. Let's go ahead and define it right now. To interject is to interrupt or to say something so as to add something to a conversation, perhaps something that has been overlooked. Yes, if you interject, you interrupt, and you do so in a forceful way, though not necessarily in a rude way either. Yes, yeah, it's kind of a more polite way to say that you want to interrupt someone. So interjecting just means you're going to add something to that conversation. And Jack goes on to say, if we set up a face-to-face -face meeting, I can show you how it works and why it's at the forefront of medical care today. 
and we have this phrase here at the forefront of. So this means at the cutting edge or in an important or main or leading position of something or some field. So in this case, he says it's at the forefront of medical care. You could also say something like this research is at the forefront of science or these products are at the forefront of technology. And that just means they are above the rest of these things. They are really special and new. There you go. And apparently this brain scanning device sounds special enough and new enough that Dr. Sloan is intrigued. He says, hmm, I may have some time next Tuesday afternoon. As long as you keep it short, I suppose we can meet. Remember, Dr. Sloan's an ER doc, so he doesn't have a whole lot of time. So he agrees to meet Jack on the condition that Jack keeps the appointment short. Then Jack says, Oh, that's great. Then he says, no problem. I can keep the meeting short. We can cover everything in 20 minutes, so I won't take up too much of your time. Then he asks, when is best for you, Dr. Sloan? And Dr. Sloan says, come by around 3.30. Just give your name to the main reception desk and someone will bring you to my office. So Dr. Sloan has set the time for the meeting and he tells Jack that when he comes in, he should go to the main reception desk. And reception here is a place often within a business where people are greeted or welcomed or received. And it's a place where customers or visitors are dealt with. So if you go to a hotel, for example, there will be a reception or in this case, an office. There is often a reception for guests that come into the office and there's a person sitting there who will greet you and help you figure out your next step at that place. And that person is called a receptionist. There you go. Now, Jack says, all right, I'll see you then, Dr. Sloan, at 3.30. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up day one of this month's Plus Talk Dialogue. Hello, my name is Jack Taylor. I have an appointment with Dr. Derek Sloan. Hello, Mr. Taylor. Unfortunately, Dr. Sloan was pulled into an emergency surgery about 10 minutes ago. He has rescheduled your meeting for tomorrow at the same time, if that is suitable for you. Tomorrow is fine. I'll come back then. Surgery. 这个字当作名词, 它有外科手术的意思, Elsa's knee is injured, and she'll probably need surgery. Okay, welcome back, everybody. And it's time for the last part of day one of our Plus Talk Dialogue. So in our last part, we had talked about how Jack had made an appointment with Dr. Sloan. And now it's finally time for them to meet face to face and talk about the device that Jack wants to sell Dr. Sloan. There you go. Remember... The appointment was set for next Tuesday afternoon at 3.30, and it's next Tuesday right now at around 3.30, and Jack has arrived on time. He says, hello, my name is Jack Taylor. I have an appointment with Dr. Derek Sloan. And by the way, he is talking to the receptionist, and the receptionist responds to Jack by saying, hello, Mr. Taylor. Unfortunately, Dr. Sloan was pulled into an emergency surgery about 10 minutes ago. And he won't be joining you, Jack, right now because he is saving someone's life because he has to perform emergency surgery. Yes, and a surgery is a medical operation performed by a highly trained doctor called a surgeon. Uh, an operation involves cutting and opening a person and these things are done so as to cure the person, usually. Uh, in this case, it's an emergency surgery, so it was really urgent. He had to have this surgery to save that patient's life, maybe. So, for example, if you had a heart problem, you might need to get heart surgery. Of course, some people also get surgery not to cure themselves or save their lives. They might get surgery to improve their appearance. That's pretty popular or common nowadays, which would be also called plastic surgery. Or cosmetic surgery. But yeah, Dr. Sloan is a lifesaver here. He's not 
doing nose jobs and things like that or tummy tucks or liposuction or anything like that. He's being pulled into emergency surgery or he has been pulled into emergency surgery, I should say, to save a life. And for that reason, he won't be able to join Jack for their appointment. Anyways, the receptionist is not done. Next, the receptionist says he, Dr. Sloan, has rescheduled your meeting, Jack, for tomorrow at the same time if that is suitable for you. And apparently this is okay for Jack. He says tomorrow is fine. I'll come back then. And with that, we've come to the end of this part of our dialogue, and it's time to listen to the Chinese teacher. Jack begins reaching out to hospitals around London in order to sell his company's device to them. 句子里面有一个片语, reach out, 它本来有伸手的意思, 那引申的抽象语义就是向外寻求联系, 跟人家接触, 尤其是指伸出援手给予帮助, 那当我们说 reach out to somebody 就表示试图要跟某人或者是某团体沟通交流或者是设法要得到某个人的关注啊兴趣那也可以用来指向某人伸出援手提供某人协助或是支持举例来说 the candidate is reaching out to young voters 那为候选人设法要得到年轻选民的关注 再看个例句, they have been reaching out to the homeless. 他们一直都有在援助街友向无家可归的人来提供协助。好,在课文第二部分, Jack希望跟Dr. Sloan面对面的讲, 这样子才能够展示他们家仪器有多出色嘛。那他就说, if we set up a face-to-face meeting, I can show you how it works and why it's at the forefront of medical care today. 如果我们来约个面对面的会谈, 我可以向您展示说它是怎么运作的, 以及它为什么是现今医疗界的翘楚。好,这边要介绍的是, at the forefront of something. Forefront,它表示最前线。at the forefront of something 字面上的意思是在事物的最前线那它就是用来表达位居于最重要的位置或者是地位那么通常forefront它是以单数型来表示 举例来说, The company is at the forefront of telecommunications technology 那一间公司是电信科技的龙头 那顺便再补充一个相关的用法 Bring something to the forefront 是指将某事物列在第一位 那这是用来表达说将某事物摆在最重要或是最前面的位置 如果你的受词比较长也可以移到片语的后方 好,那我们来造个例句 Extreme weather events have brought global warming to the forefront in the news. 极端气候事件让全球暖化成为新闻首要报道的议题。好,以上是今天重点整理,接着来回顾今天单字吧。Appointment I have an appointment to see the dentist tomorrow morning. Device If your mobile device is running slowly, it might need to be updated. Scan Our bags were scanned as we passed through airport security. Reception The hotel's reception desk is just through those doors and to the left. Surgery Mark had to have surgery after he tore a muscle in his arm. Okay, everyone, with that, today's article is now complete. But, as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Kelsey. See you next time. time.